it's it's been a whirlwind it's been like it's not been real well i seen the back of the car mm -hmm. i seen the license plate tag and i seen the front tag on it that they that i had seen on the news earlier and I noticed the boy's hair cut. And when I got off of the bypass out here, I called Todd and I said, what do, what do I do? I said, I think I have just passed the boy who they, you know, did the shooting. And he said, well, we gotta call somebody. So he gets right on the phone and calls them. And, and I said, you know, I'm going back out here. He said, go back out there, be careful. Go back out there on the bypass. So Todd stayed on the phone with me the whole time and with the police and, um, so I just, I followed him and I caught up with him and Shelby. I was nervous, mm. I'm a chicken too, okay? But I said, Todd, if anything happens to me, you be sure you tell my family and my friends, I'm going to glory. I know where I'm going. I got a peace like that. God answers prayers. If, if they'll think about the news coverage that they've seen, they seen them standing around in the street down there and they were in a circle and they were holding hands and they were calling on him and he heard them. And he answered their prayer because I'm sure that was part of it. He answered their prayer. He was caught. So those families have some kind of, you know, uh, peace about that part. And now they can move on and trust the Lord that he's going to comfort them and he's going to give them a peace like only he can. And he'll do it. He'll do it for them.